Hello and welcome to Take It Off Tuesday. Woo! My name is April Sargent. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to Take It Off Tuesday. Take It Off Tuesday is a series where I review products related to skincare and removing makeup. The product that I will be using for the first time and reviewing for you today is the Bosha Bright White Mask. I've already got my hair out of my face. First thing I'm going to do is wash my face. I'm actually going to use my Clairsonic today because I'm feeling a little grungy. I have cleansed my face. I use the uh, Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel and my Clairsonic. I've talked about both of those in a different video. So I will get right to applying the Bosha Bright White Mask. And it says, it's an innovative brightening peel off mask that helps even skin tone and minimize the appearance of dark spots. Smooths texture and delivers soothing hydration. Lifts away dullness to reveal radiance and clarity. Apply an even layer to clean dry skin. Avoid eye area by applying below orbital bone. Avoid eyebrows, hairline, and lips. Leave on 20 minutes or until completely dry. Gently peel off mask from outer edges. Rinse off any residue with warm water. Follow with moisturizer. Use it once or twice a week. Apply an even layer. An even layer. Alright. White. Bright white. And I reviewed the black mask. And let me tell you, you definitely want to keep it away from your hair. So I will try to be mindful of that. It doesn't have much of a smell. It does have a very light, sweet scent, like a flowery powder, but like very, very light. It, go, it went on smooth, but it, it feels a little bit like a paste. All right, well, I have that applied. I'll be back in 20 minutes. It has been 20 minutes. Uh, I hope you can see, yes, the mask is dry. It is feeling a little tight. Okay, it said peel from outer edges. See if I can get a hold of it anywhere. Worried. Maybe I didn't put it on there thick enough. Let's see. Maybe I didn't. That's pretty thin. You just never know how much to use. Every now and then a product will tell you, you know, about the amount to use, but it's pretty rare. Well, I know to put it on a little bit thicker next time. It does pull on the skin a little bit. Oh, this is so interesting. But when you pull the mask off, it like has the imprint of your skin on there. Ah, how weird. Didn't notice that with the black one. I didn't want to come off. Well, I think that's going to be, be the best I can do with peeling. It said to rinse off any residue, so I will rinse the rest of that off. And there it is, a little pile of mask. Just like a little pile of little paper. Okay, well, overall, my skin does feel dry. Tight, dry. I mean, it does say follow with moisturizer. I know why they say that, because uh, it does feel dry. Well, the claims were helps even skin tone and minimize appearance of dark spots. It seems even. I don't necessarily have a spot that's light, dark. I mean, I do have some like darker spots on my face. I mean, of course, I wouldn't expect this product to make those go away in one use. I mean, I feel like my skin looks bright, looks healthy, smooth. Oh, smooths texture and delivers soothing hydration. Smooths texture. Well, it feels smooth in some spots, but it feels a little rough. I have a place right up here. Mm, I don't know that I can go along with the smooths texture. And then soothing hydration? Absolutely not. My face feels dry. That was something I noticed right away. So as far as the claims, I feel like it evens the skin tone. Yes, I can go along with that. Minimize appearance of dark spots. I mean, I didn't have anything glaring, but I guess I could go along with the minimizing the dark spots. Smoothing texture, eh, I don't know that I can go with that one. And soothing hydration, absolutely not. Lifts away dullness, reveal radiance and clarity. I, I do feel like the skin looks radiant and it looks clean. So some of the claims, yes. Some of the claims, no. I would have to say it was hard to get off. You wear it for 20 minutes, you don't want to have to take 20 minutes to get it off. I don't really like it. 
I don't think that I would buy this one again. The dryness, the difficulty removing, nah, for the benefit. But I have other products that make my skin look radiant and, and make it smooth. Nope, this one's a no. Oh well, I guess I can't like them all. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for other beauty related videos and I will see your squeaky clean faces next time.